in Test 1, done and dusted between the Aotearoa men and the Silver Ferns, and it was the Silver Ferns victorious with a 58 to 47 win. The last quarter, Adine, they won by 10. They grinded it out, didn't they? They absolutely did it. We have got the giggles over that <laughs> word because we keep hearing it from the Ferns, from Nolan, but massive quarter. In fact, they won three quarters tonight, the Ferns. That's the first time I think they've won more than one against the men in one game. So a brilliant start to the series for the Ferns. And Cruz, it was a brilliant start from the men in that first quarter. They were looking strong, they were letting the ball go, and then it just faltered as the quarters went on. Yeah, they had the intensity, they had the flair, they were changing their angles down that attacking end. I just think it probably does come down to the condition at the end of the day. We've spoken about it before, only had four days in camp. Uh, together and playing at that kind of level is quite tough for new players as well. But like I said, I, d I don't count them out yet. I think they've got the ability to come away with a win tomorrow night. Well, Karen Berger, she played 60 minutes in Test 1. She finished the game with an MVP performance. Her elevation in that circle was impressive, Adeen. Oh, she was superb tonight. I mean, the whole defensive end for the Ferns, 24 deflections, seven intercepts, far more than what the men were able to pick up. You know, we, we didn't see those connections happen in the English series, whereas all of a sudden, Burger and Jury, they looked sharp, they looked connected, the links were there, and it meant they were coming up with some beautiful ball. Yeah, great to see the intensity there for 60 minutes. Well, for the men's team, Iriata Verko at wing attack Cruz. He finished with 27 circle edge feeds. He put some good ball in. Yeah, he definitely is a player of the future, and one that will steal my position one day. Uh, and he's just so beautiful to watch, really plays so nicely, gets on the circle edge uh, really quickly. And it's all instinctual as well, it's not something that has to be trained into him day in, day out. He knows what he has to do. I definitely look for him to stand up in that uh, second test against the Silver Ferns and just really lead a bit more and, and do those really creative passes that we've seen tonight. We talked about Goldard as well before the match, he was impressive at the back. But if we take a look at the stats after 60 minutes of netball, well, the shooting percentage, that's the glaringly obvious one, Adine, for the Silver Ferns. Yeah, look, the men were spectacular when it came to percentages, 94%. But look at the attempts. They only had 50 to the Ferns, 85. And again, that comes down to those intercepts. The turnovers converted as well for the Ferns. They were on fire. They also kept those penalties down. But it's a great shooting from Wiki. Look at that again. We know that she's a dead eye when she's right under that post. There was, you know, a mixed bag from the goal attacks from the Silver Ferns, but Wilson, she really started to finish well. But Jay Gerald, he did spectacularly, 97%. But they need to get more ball to him. They need to let that ball go, as you spoke about, Chris, that flair, that excitement. It's there for the men. They just need to string a few more combinations together. Absolutely. And if they want to do it, they've got a tight turnaround because Test 2 is tomorrow night. Coming to you from the TSB Bank Arena in Wellington, 7 o'clock and followed by a quick turnaround at the third and final test in this Cadbury series on Tuesday night. We'll see you tomorrow night for Test 2.